this tumor is shaped like a hot dog and has very uh, sharp margins. It's not because it's the whole tumor, but it's because it was biopsied with the needle. So this is the core of the needle. Looks like it could be maybe three millimeters approximately, which needles usually are if they're big, maybe two or one if they're smaller. Notice that the tumor itself is not nodular. It's rather uniform. There's a lot of fibrous tissue in it, and it does not at all form uh, any type of uh, nodule or follicle. Also notice that from your intense experience, you might get the impression that maybe these are lymphoid cells rather than uh, epithelial cells. So maybe you're dealing with a lymphoma rather than a carcinoma. However, even an experienced pathologist, like I think I am, will tell you in all honesty, this still could be carcinoma. So you then instantly go into your bag of tricks and uh, look and stain these things with epithelial markers versus lymphoid markers. And if the epithelial uh, markers are negative and the lymphoid markers are generally positive, you know it's a lymphoma. And really that's all you do know. And if you do stain these uh, cells, now that you know it's a lymphoma, with T cell and B cell markers, and they happen to stain with the uh, B cell markers, then you could call it a diffuse large B cell lymphoma needle biopsy, and that is precisely the name of this case. They're lymphoid cells, they're large cells, they're growing in a diffuse fashion, not a uh, follicular passion fashion. They stain with lymphoid markers rather than epithelial markers, and it's as malignant as all hell, isn't it? There's some very bizarre cells, there's some funny looking weird nuclei. Uh, this presacral mass we now know from the needle biopsy and a few stains is a lymphoma. Thank you very much.